All right. We got something a little unusual and special today because I said earlier in the, in the uh, marathon that there's a reason why I wanted to do Prince of Persia first, despite there being a tie, and that is this game. Prince of Persia 3D has been a thorn in my side to get working for months now. I can't tell you how, how long. Also, hello, Jonah. Congrats on the first. Sorry, to, didn't mean to ignore you. I just realized now. Yes. And I fin finally got it working through just dumb luck. I have tried multiple stuff. I've tried uh, the tutorials on the speedrunning.com. I've tried the so-called definitive edition. That's a fan-made version, like the fan stuff. What I ended up doing? Oh, it, what I ended up doing? I'll tell you what I ended up doing. I found in my searching, my fruitless searching for like tutorials and the such, because I'm not a smart, I'm not a smart curve. I don't know how to do this stuff on my own. I found a random link to a random YouTube video that's a, that's showing off a reshade version that, for some reason, is the only version that works on my computer. I have tried. And even that, it only works some of the time. So I'm going to make a little tutorial here in case for just to put put this out there. Put it, if anyone is insane enough to want to play this game on modern hardware, I don't know why, but if you do, hopefully this helps. Hopefully this helps. Alright, let's go to the desktop. Alright, so, firstly, I would say, if you are interested in playing Prince of Persia 3D, before you do this, I would recommend you try go to this website, the Prince of Persia, an official website. It has a download link. And a tutor and a tutorial, yeah, to uh, how they recommend doing it with some. It's got unprotected versions, cracked versions. It's got like everything that you should definitely try first before trying this. Before doing this, this is like a last ditch effort. Oh, well, that might not work for anyone else, but it works for me. Uh, also, there is a there is a Portuguese version. Yes, yes, indeed, Brazilian. In case you're interested in playing this, Jonah, go for it. Uh, there's also the definitive version, which I don't know all the stuff that it does different. There's version info you can read up on it that is supposedly works for a lot of people. Didn't work for me. And then finally, there's this. This video, this glorious video. Shout out to Joel Houghton. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Five years ago, less than 2,000 views. That I'll like. Um, and in, in it, there is a link to Mediafire. Oop. And just download that. I've already downloaded it. All right. Now, that's, that's how you get it. That's how you get, get in the door. There's some steps to take. If you want to go a little bit further, uh, there are some more steps to take. Because, oh, I forgot. To, I, sh I don't need to. Because, for some reason, you know, because this was to show off the reshade, partly high quality textures and a reshade. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of bloom. A little bit of bloom. I don't like it. If you like it, you're fine. You just, all you need to do is when you open the game from the download link, which I will pull up. Do do downloads. Just. Extract here to pop. Give it a second. Do do. Just go into here. Go to I believe where is it? Uh, I believe the default preset. Go here and change. Where is it? Because at first it will it won't show up because you need to change the pathing to wherever you have your game installed or downloaded to. And I can't remember exactly where it is. Might not be this. It's a long, it's somewhere in here. I think, I think. Uh, I should have, should have prepped this tutorial. Uh, do, do, do. It's, it's somewhere in here. It does, that's... I'm not using it. So what I would recommend is go to Reshade, download Reshade, and it will give you an option if you 
a link to where the file, the folder that Prince of Persia 3D is. You can uninstall Reshade just to get rid of it. Because if you have it installed, I'll show you. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where are you, buddy? There you are. If you haven't installed, if you haven't uninstalled it, that's that's another thing we'll get into. Uh, it gives you this notification every time you start up the game. Yep, like that. See it at the top. Appreciate. It. Don't if you want it. If you want to keep it, just change the directory in that uh, ini file or int file. Otherwise, and that will pop up. I didn't want that to pop up. So I uninstalled it. Also, fair warning. Again, this might not work for everyone. I don't know why it works for me. It's the again, the only one that does. And it, even then, it only works half the time, maybe even less than half the time. You know, I noticed there that I, da, 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 that I uh, had to do it twice. That was actually pretty lucky. Let's let's see. Let's do it again. See if it if it's a. Uh, Gonna be nice again, twice in a row. Nope, because it will. There are three th three things that will happen. Uh, it'll either open on a black screen and just not respond. It'll open, then shut down, then uh, terminate itself immediately, or it'll work. And as you can see, it's very unlikely that it'll work. See, it's just isn't. And oh, whoa! See, and this is all. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh! Uh, uh, it worked. What is that? Like six times to get it working. Um. Now, if you. Yeah, sometimes it's just it's just roll the dice. You know, it's that old let's go gambling and we're gambling with games. All right. Now, there's this, all this. All this can be thrown out the window, though. If you just want to play the game and you don't care about like if you're not as anal retentive as me about trying to do it like authentic until the game like hates me and then I cheat. Um Play the Dreamcast version. Just emulate the Dreamcast version. Works fine. Works great. I've tried it. I played a little bit of it, but I didn't want to use it. It's it. It's basically the same game. And the only issue, the only reason I would play this game specifically over it would be that this game has uh, fast or uh, quick saves. Quick save, I think it's called. And with the Dreamcast version does not natively, but if you're emulating it, you can save state it and it's the same thing, basically. All right. OK. Uh, there's also a thing where it's, for some reason, this version doesn't have cinematics. I don't know where I got the cinematics from. I, I've downloaded like so many versions of it to try and get it working. I just had a folder with all the movies. Uh, if for some reason you're watching this and you need and you want the movies and you can't find them all in your searches, uh, I guess just message me and I'll like make a media fire torrent or something. It's whatever. All it does is you can't play cinematics. Everything else works great. Oh, but also as a fair warning, load game does not work sometimes. Sometimes it crashes the game. Just no rhyme or reason to it. It just sometimes happens if you click load game. So again, but you can, but there is a key bind for quick saving and quick loading, which is all I need. Uh, I think it's F6 to quick save and F9 to quick load. Let's see if it crashes. It doesn't. Okay. Uh, but in this thing, Ivory Tower, let's see if Ivory Tower crashes because sometimes it cr that crashes for me. Wait for it. Once it gets like halfway. It usually crashes. Yeah, crashed. The things we do to play old games that companies will never do anything to help us doing. Funny thing about that, um, I've GOG, like 
they aren't usually as far as I know, there's no plans for it from GOG, but they do do this kind of thing where they get old games working and playable. So shout out to GOG. And if you want them to play to this game, like there's a voting system that you can vote for. Not saying it'll get you anywhere, but they did like the legacy of Kane, uh, the first game recent. Yeah. Actually, yeah, except for GOG. Uh, there's a legacy of Kane that uh, they got the rights for and or have it published and it's great and GOG does great stuff. If I didn't have such a f- like just tangent, I guess. Yeah, well, actually, I'm going to end the tutorial here, stop the recording and uh, thank you for watching. Hope this helped. If you, you need messages, whatever. If you want to hear me rambling about stuff, come to my Twitch at uh, Twitch TV dot TV slash Kerfugle. I think that's the URL. Doesn't matter. I'll probably link it. Anyway, thanks for watching. All right. Bye.